<laughs> what? Hey, are we done with something's going down? Oh boy. They're going at oh no. That's who they're targeting? Oh, hell no. Hell. Hell no. You do not. Do not go after him. No. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You do not go after the chairman. Captain Takabe! Kasuga. You're shot! It was the Omi Alliance. They're looking for the Patreon. His office is a ways up from- Yes. Hurry. Please. Finally, you make your entrance. The Omi Alliance? Where's the chair? Huh. Give the boys a sec. What's that mean? Don't fuck with- Do it! Well, I would bring watch the guy with a gun. Another the rest. You killed the chairman? You were oh late boy. every damn time. Any job I sent you on, the smallest errand. Why, though? Why would you kill the chairman? Direct orders. This will be the end of the Eugene 3. 
He was a tired old man who served as the Grey Zone's pillar. And that pillar supported Ijincho. Without him, it'll crumble unless we intervene. The young master agrees. Why are you two like this? Why are you so paranoid? You've already won pretty much everything, and you still had to kill the chairman in cold blood? Why would Ryo Aoki need to do this when he's already on top of the world? What if I told you it was your fault? What? Hey, Ichiban. Ichiban! to the young master that he wins this district but you got in his way a felon like you suddenly decides to make a run for the seat he doesn't like being defied especially not by the likes of you sounds to me like you're scared I could win <laughs> are you kidding not in a million years why else would you need to kill chairman Hoshino you know him he doesn't even like to be inconvenienced. So how do you think he feels about this? Well, then why didn't you just kill me? Oh, I would have preferred that. But your campaign has drawn so much attention. I guess you could call it a timing issue if you need a reason. So you killed the chairman in my place? Yes. The e Gene 3 was the machine keeping you on life support. If pulling the trigger on you would make too big of a splash, we figured pulling the plug out of the wall would be the next best thing. Every time I think the young master couldn't sink any lower, he proves me wrong. Wow. What the fuck is his problem? What made him turn out to be such a bastard? I'm sure the both of us mean nothing to him. So why would he have to go so far just to crush garbage like me under his foot? What satisfaction do you two get from watching me break? Tell me what any of this is for! <laughs> is Arakawa-san's death your fault too, you fucking coward? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Doesn't really matter now, does it? <laughs> Zero! Please let us do it. Come on. been wanting to do this for a while oh man he just had to pull out a weapon yeah but is it really something to... yeah but it was probably just luck either that or he wasn't and you don't know captain sawashiro like i do holding a weapon uh so this is gonna be a tough for sure i mean he's a captain under arakawa the assassin so everyone got it well 53 okay let's Wait, see if we can get a stun on him he's still Okay, that's a good hit. Good hit too. See if we can get a bleed on him. Alright, let's get the sweeper spin on. Dive. Oh, this is new. Okay, let's go 
out of blank him. You sure you can beat me? Bring it on. Cool. Alright, let's do a hangman twist. What kind of move was that? A way more powerful one than I thought. It's based on a Western martial art. When do you know martial arts? Since always. The reason I fought with an umbrella was because I got the idea from an old martial. And is the captain using the same? Yeah. Actually, watching him is really teaching me a lot. Damn. Well, I think we're about to. F Just gonna stand there. Let's go. <laughs> Watch me. Ow! All right. Okay. So. Take this. for oh yeah I forgot we got Goro now and Saijima let's bring in Goro Majima hate us Yes, we do. Oh, Majima. Demon fire rain. Games yet? You sure you want to get hurt? Ooh. 
He's gone. Uh, accuracy is back. Keep trying for the stun. Wow, he might just be immune to it. Time to restore some MP. Nice, Kasuga. Now you're giving him a sharp, pointy something. Too sharp, pointy something. There's something odd about this. Uh, yeah, not like there was anything normal about this to begin with. Man, this guy is savage as hell. Yeah, he's pulling out all the stops. You've got to stay on your. Watch me. Take this. You still I got this. Out of my way. Are you sure you want to get hurt? <laughs> Hey man, twist. Oh, he's got an HP regen. Oh, hell no. Hell, hell no. I 
do not have a dispel. At least I don't think I do. Do this instead. Let's increase our turn speed. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that miracle kimchi. Let's increase our damage dealer's turn speed. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Double hatchet. You sure you want to get hurt? Great frame, I'm gonna murder us in tent. Let's do this. Let's get our HP and MP up. Wait, I got a group one, don't I? I got a group one. Where is it? It's a bento. Let's go. You're in port now. Oh no, I don't have it. I forgot. You're in it now. Darn it. Eyes on me. All right, so let's do let's do MP first. On Kasuga. Who's there? Bring it. Go. I want to meet you, son. Get on to meet you, son, in here. Even though she's KO'd, I can bring her back. What the 
hell have you become? The Soashiro I knew would never just blindly follow orders. Not even the young masters. There's no excuse in the world that could justify killing Arakawa-san! Yes, there is. To me, the young master's orders are law. But my life's purpose is to protect him. My life's purpose was to protect Arakawa-san! I know that. I know that all too well. Captain... And just so you know... I didn't kill Arakawa-san. Huh? I thought the young master ordered you to, because of me! He did order me to. What? But that was the only time I ever disobeyed one of his orders. Ooh! I couldn't kill Masumi Arakawa. I can't explain it, but... Even as low as I've fallen, that was the one order I couldn't follow. How could I? Because you couldn't put aside your respect for Arakawa-san. Well, you think a Yakuza can't take out his own patriarch? No. That wasn't it. No? The real reason was... And I've never told this to anyone. Not even the young master. So why are you telling me? Just listen. The first time I saw Masumi Arakawa was only a short while before I swore my oath to him. I was 15. Just a dumb kid with no direction, no future. Uh oh. Backstory. Backstory time. Back when I was getting into fights on the streets of Kamurocho, I had no money. All I had waiting for me at home was my drunk father's fists. The only people I could trust were the other guys who also had nothing. My girl was... <laughs> I can't even remember her name. Uh-oh. You know that's bad. Anyway, we shacked up and played house, even though we didn't really think it would last. By the time she told me she was pregnant with our child, it was too late for an abortion. What are we gonna do? We can't raise a kid. There's no way in hell. All we could do was pray she'd have a miscarriage. We just ignored her growing stomach, going about life pretending it wasn't there. No hospital visits or anything like that. But of course, you can't ignore an actual baby. She ended up giving birth in a department store bathroom. Mm. All on her own. I was working at the time. Laying asphalt, as I recall. What now? Just pretend it didn't happen. Brush it under the rug. That's what you do with secrets. That's how we dealt with stuff our whole lives. Who was there to teach us any other way? No one. No one. Which is why. Don't tell me. No, 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 no. going to hell, aren't we? I know it. Oh, no. Why are you saying that? Nothing happened. 